Hi, I'm Morgan Spurlock, and I am so excited to be a part of this new film about one of the greatest environmental scandals of our time. The Devil We Know exposes how a toxic chemical, found in a product we use every single day, contaminated the small town of Parkersburg, West Virginia, the place where I was born and raised. And chances are that you too have this chemical called C8 or PFOA in your blood. C8 is found in the blood of 99.7% of Americans. And The Devil We Know tells the story of how it got there and how it wound up in countless communities around the world. Most notably, C8 is used in the making of Teflon, invented by DuPont, one of the largest chemical companies in the world. This non-stick finish for cookware never needs scouring. DuPont Teflon saves me lots of dirty work. For over 50 years, the chemical has been used in a number of consumer products. From the carpeting our babies crawl on, to dental floss, waterproof clothing, and pizza boxes. It has been dumped into our drinking water, pumped out of factory smokestacks, and detected in some of our most popular crops like apples and green beans. Incredibly, if it wasn't for the courage of a handful of citizens in West Virginia, we'd never even know this chemical existed. Because of their efforts, we now know internal memos dating back to the 60s show the company was immediately concerned about the chemical's impact on human health. By the early 90s, they suspected C8 was a possible human carcinogen, but continued to use it anyway. Since that time, studies have linked exposure, even at low doses, to some very serious health problems. At its core, this is a fascinating story of greed and irresponsibility by a company that chose to put the dollar sign ahead of human health. But it brings to bear a much larger social issue, the lack of oversight on the chemical industry which has resulted in more than 80,000 synthetic chemicals being released onto the market with almost no outside testing. When Fed Up, my film about the processed food industry, came out three years ago, I really got to see in action how film can empower an audience to affect change on both a personal and a policy level. I believe The Devil We Know can have the same meaningful impact, but we need your help. Your contribution will go towards funding post-production, as well as the larger goal of informing the public at large and fighting for chemical reform. But we can't do it without you. With the Trump administration gutting the EPA and filling its ranks with chemical industry insiders, the timing of this film is more important than ever. So we hope that you will join us in getting it out into the world. Thank you.